Hopefully the weekend treated you well. You had a, a good time. I certainly did. I ended up watching The Boys on Amazon. I, I, I'm fucking amazed. Amazon actually made a show that's not complete and utter dog shit. That was somewhat accurate to the source material. I mean, they moved some, you know, some things around, changed a few things up, expanded a few characters, but for the most part, it wasn't complete dog shit. It wasn't, uh, what was the other fucking show that they do? Transparent? <laughs> it was, it was fairly, fairly good. I watched the whole fucking eight episodes. Uh, you know, using babies as, uh, weapons, watching a guy get fucked in his gills. It's pretty good shit. I don't know, any, anybody in chat, check that out. Anybody watch The Boys? Did you watch Homelander fucking shit up? Yes, chat, Transparent. It's just an awful show. Uh, how do you do the dancing emoji? Just click on somebody that put one up, and you can copy it into your personal sticker file, uh, your favorite section, and then spam the fuck out of it. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to season two. I actually legitimately enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, it was really good, and they've got a fuck ton more to cover. I mean, at the rate they're going, I'm going to guess maybe what, maybe five seasons, six seasons, if they tried to cover it all? There's a lot to dig into. I just like the idea of uh, a dark superhero. I like the idea of uh, them being fuck-ups. Uh, you know, that's always been an interesting concept. And just, you know, they haven't even got into the heavy shit yet. You got some people dying, some babies being injected, you know, uh, murders, you know, some sexual assaults. Really tame stuff so far. They haven't even gotten to the Charles Xavier knockoff molesting children. I'm looking forward to that part. <laughs> I want to watch Charles Xavier and his mutant academy, the G-Men in this case, are just nothing but nonstop molestation. The ball's on a motherfucker, by the way. To try to attempt that. In a universe where there are super-powered preteens, <laughs> and you're going to try to molest them. You're lucky they didn't punch him through a wall. Oh, that's going to be fascinating to watch. Good shit. Good, violent, wholesome entertainment. That's what I spent uh, my time on, watching that. It's good stuff. A lot of stuff going on lately. And we got we got a lot of stuff to talk about. And do a little Bitcoin, a little Bitcoin coverage. Oh, today's the day. I believe today's the day that the uh, New York Attorney General and uh, Tether and Bitfinex are going to be having it out again. I look forward to seeing how that's going to affect the markets. And as all the Lambo dreams go up in smoke, go up in smoke and just poof, disappear. Disappear like the value of people's TF2 inventories when Valve decided to put uh, ultra rare, uncommon hats into drop boxes and made them implode and melt down screaming. Lots of fur fags, lots of fucking furries. Getting real upset about that. Oh, you can't devalue my hats, Gabe. I've worked so hard on this. I've spent so much fucking good boy bucks on my inventory system. You know, I, I wait for those loot drops to get uh, to get my special shovel and then sell it for $80 on the exchange. And then apparently... I, I'm almost wondering if Newell just thought, hey, maybe this will be funny. Or if he thought, hey, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just uh, screw the economy up so when we drop TF3, uh, people are ready. May uh, fingers crossed. That's what I think is going to happen. You've got Team Fortress 3 coming, and he's killing the economy of Team Fortress 2 as preparation for that. we got to get them off of it. Make them stop doing this. Let's just fuck their economy up. <laughs> so they buy the new game when it comes out, and then they can name their special batons and grenades and shit and that one instead. Who knows? Who knows where it's going to go? I see Chainlink is down. It's always down. Sergey never stops selling. 700000 every day. I don't know why you're invested in it. I know all the Link Marines are very dedicated to it, but you're going to... He's going to keep doing it. He's going to do it all the way down to $0.10 cents a share. Uh, $0.10 cents a, a Link. Whatever. Same, same fucking thing. Bitcoin's down. Everything's down. And the Tether thing's coming up. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see those screaming pink emojis. I find this shit so fascinating. I've been so just awestruck watching all of this. 
I have no money invested in it. I have no interest in ever taking part in it. But goddamn, I can't look away. They just, the bipolar nature of it, how quickly it goes back and forth. All these people playing a market and hoping they're going to get rich in the short term. <laughs> and then everything imploding because of it. I'm so fascinated by it, I'm actually looking up the stupid fucking term. I'm learning about stock markets just so I can shitpost about it better. <laughs> I have no interest in putting money into this retarded fucking shit, but I want to know the terminology so I can be a bigger asshole when it goes south. That's my philosophy on it. Moving averages, the death cross, the golden cross, the candles, all that shit. Having to learn all this fucking stuff I'm never going to use. But just to be able to piss people off a little bit more makes it just a great use of time. Between that and the boys, it was an entertaining weekend. But we got yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Oh boy, I see Matt Jarbo, our boy, the Boulder King, Mister Mundane, having a little bit of a tiff with Dick Masterson on Twitter. Not sure what set it off. Apparently, he did a live stream where he was talking with Maddox on Facebook. Now, Matt's a very brave boy. I don't know if you've ever had an argument with Mr. Jarbo. But uh, he likes to lay down the law. So when you hurt his feelings and fuck him up and get him upset, he'll block you. And then he'll <laughs> and then he'll respond once you're blocked. To make it look like he got that like that real sick burn in there that you couldn't recover from. You have your little back and forth, he blocks you and then responds to something. And you can't see it because you're blocked. Now all of a sudden everybody thinks, holy shit, the Boulder King laid the smack down. Oh, things are getting gravelly up in here. Okay, let, me, let, me, let me pull up Matthews. Let me pull up his his little uh, uh, Twitter account. Let's, uh, let's see what him and Dick were screaming at each other earlier this morning. Uh-oh. Oh, everything just went tits up. Oh boy, I've been hacked. I made fun of Link too much and they're coming after me now. Okay, I've got to... I can't actually see what he... I have to log in uh, <laughs> through a private browser because Matt has me blocked, which is understandable, I suppose. You know, the whole video thing I don't think went over very well with him. I think he's still a little bit sore about that. <laughs> In fact, we can, we can tell... I'll show you why he's really sore about it. Not, uh, not been going well for Matthew. Not been going well for him all. He's lost an extraordinary amount of money. Let me just put it that way. In fact, I can give you an exact calculation of how much money Matt showing people that stupid screen cap and admitting to what he did. I can show you exactly how much money that actually cost him. Uh, it's pretty fascinating. A lot of fucking money. Mr. Matthew lost a lot of fucking money. Uh, flagging people down because he didn't like what they had to say. Uh, let me just I'll pull up his social blades too. We'll just pop through all of this. What is his alternate account's name? I think it's... I'm almost 100. It's 3 Buck Theater. Is that what it is? The secondary one that he, he's starting to try to use? Yeah, 3 Buck Theater. There we go. Okay. I think I've got these lined up. I think we're good. So, uh, we'll, we'll start it off. We'll start it off with what I saw earlier because somebody had tagged me in when I was looking this morning. Uh, pop that up. No, that's not right. Oh, wrong window. Oh, boy. What are you doing, you old man? There we go. So, uh, LA beast, or LA-based comedian, good friend of Dick Masterson, sort of like Mr. Uh, Mr. Anti-Bull. He's a good friend of mine, if you catch my drift. Uh, this is him and Matt going back and forth. I also, just pay attention to this. Imperfections, on the contrary, Jumbo Jarbo. I just don't want those wild hooters to get you in trouble. Free the nipple. Now, that's in response to him. Making fun of Matt, Matt's response to that was, considering your forehead is large enough to project an IMAX movie, you may not want to point that out to other people's imperfections. And then Matt immediately <laughs> Matt immediately blocks him. Now, if you were watching this just from Matt's uh, Twitter account, you would think, oh, you wouldn't know that he blocked him. You'd only know that if you're paying attention to dicks. So when Matt did his follow-up, I could lose my hooters, you can't fix that forehead. Well... <laughs> It looks like Dick's not responding. He can't take the banter, right? Matt won that one. But no, no, he just decided to block him like a little bitch, throw out an insult, and then act like that was a victory. 
Now, why is Matt so upset? You know, I, I, I think if we look at his social blade, you'll start to understand why. Matt doesn't make a lot of money off his Patreon. I think he's got 30 patrons, like 30 or 40 patrons, so probably a couple hundred bucks, and that's being generous. Um, I don't know what other outside revenue streams he would have, but I can show you what his YouTube looks like and explain why Matt is probably very mad. <laughs> it's nothing but red. It's been nothing but red ever since his little adventures in flagging people. Like you can see, hopefully, is that showing up on screen? Yeah. You can see uh, the complete drop off. Just, just the fucking dead end. And it just never recovered, never went positive after that. But here's the real story. On YouTube, and this is generally what I understand to be the truth, uh, if you have an uh, okayish channel, you're not doing anything too extreme, your advertising revenue basically breaks down to about $3,000 per 1 million views. So if you're looking at Matt, all, you know, all leading up until this uh, devastating event, 2 million views, so around $6,000. You know, 6K a month, that's pretty goddamn good money. But, you know, things start to go a little a little south. The uh, algorithm changes. Matt's not really liking that, but he's still getting by. Uh, you know, three grand a month isn't anything to sneeze at. And it seems to level out. Everything seems to be going fine. Until, until Matt decides to tell people he's a bit thin-skinned and likes to flag people. Uh-oh. Oh, that money's dwindling. It's going from 1500 roughly 1000 1500 even less and less and less, to now 200,000 views. Well, I mean, you know, uh, that's a tenth. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's uh, that's a fifth. I'm going off if he was still getting 2 million views. That's a fifth of what he would be getting. It's not a lot of money. And if you look at his other other channel, uh, his 3 Buck Theater, for a while there, it looked like things were going golden. I mean, he's... He's almost reaching up to a million views. I mean, that's good ad revenue. But nope, that one's going down the uh, going down the toilet too. So between his multiple channels, he isn't even hitting a million views anymore uh, per month. And uh, again, you know, he, this is a guy that was doing two million, almost three million views. I mean, he went out and he bought, uh, I believe, a house. Probably didn't pay outright for it. Probably got a mortgage. And who knows what the financing on that was? He probably thought it was going to be good. He's going to be golden. He might have pulled a DSP. Oh, I'm going to be making $6,000 every month guaranteed. Look at it. I mean, it's been doing that for two years. But nope, right down the toilet. So it always amuses me when Matt uh, gets upset at people on social media. I think a lot of that is motivated by the fact that uh, his finances are devastated in this regard. And he's, he's fighting fucking everybody in the replies. Just absolutely everybody. Anybody that says anything to him gets very upset. Now, why would he be having this this big argument with Dick Masterson? I mean, aside from the fact that if he's talking to Maddox, obviously Masterson's going to make fun of him. It's probably because Dick's making almost $23,000 a month on Patreon. So, you know, it, it worked out for Masterson. Post Maddox split, everything worked out for him. He's got a popular show. He's got a big fan base making a lot of money. Matt, on the other hand, hitched his wagon to Maddox. And Maddox's show has been canceled. He canceled it himself. He shut it down. Shut that shit down. Doesn't exist anymore. No money coming in from that shit. On top of that, his ad revenue has fallen off the face of the earth, hiding in a cave like a terrorist after after 9-11. No money coming in from Patron. I'm not sure how many of those Boulder shirts that Matt sold, but I'm going to guess not very many. Dark days. Dark fucking days ahead. Uh, you know, I, I know somebody had said that he was working a side job as like an Uber driver or something like that. That's going to be a full-time job. I think he's been locked out of the algorithm. Again, Matt's never really made content that uh, is edgy. So it's not like he's getting boxed out because he's saying, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> saying uh, horrendous things. He's pretty advertiser-friendly as far as his video format goes. But he's been he's been boxed out. Maybe that's uh, well. There, I could speculate as to what exactly made the algorithm flip on Matt. Uh, who knows? It changes every six to eight months. It seems like, but he's on the negative end of it this time. And that, coupled with the fact that people think he's an asshole for what he did, I don't think there's any recovery. I don't think he can bounce back from this. 
I've seen channels die and come back, but usually there's a personality behind it that's so strong it can draw those people back in because their content, the videos they make, the streams they do are funny or entertaining. They can actually draw the people back in after a fuck up. Matt doesn't really have that. He's very, very bland. You know, he's very tasteless. <laughs> if he was a food substance, you wouldn't know it was on the meal you were eating. So he doesn't have that draw to make them come back after all the boulder shit and all the flaggings and all the shit flinging fights and siding with somebody like a Maddox to pull that one out. So I guess it's just amusing to me to watch him and Masterson go at one another because Masterson probably finds it funny, whereas I have a feeling Matt doesn't. I'm going to guess he's probably real fucking ass paint about the way things have gone for the last... Actually, how many months has it been? This was back in... Holy shit! I, I actually don't believe it, but we're... Are we at the one-year anniversary of this? Are we at the one-year anniversary? It's been a year. It's been a year already. He's been dealing with the fallout of this shit for a year. You know, I remember some smug motherfuckers when Matt did his uh, big oopsie. Oh, they ran their mouth. Oh, yeah. He's not going to be that affected, Jim. He's going to be just fine. The view count's what matters. Oh, well, yeah, we're looking at his view count. Nothing but a steep decline, <laughs> never ending down that slope. Never recovering the subs, it just kind of uh, splintered away and disappeared. A whole fucking year. How many views? How many views does that Monday Matt video even have? Let me see what, what it's actually sitting at, because I... I I don't really ever check this shit. <laughs> That's one... Okay, I'm sorry. It gives me a good idea of the time scale, too. Yeah, it's it's damn near a year. Start of August. Uh, Ballad of Monday, Matt. 1.2 million views. Oh, my God. That has got to piss him off. In fact, uh, what what happens if we search his... You know, let's just... Uh, we're, I'm going to focus on Matt for a minute, because now I'm interested. Let's try a Google search. And see what happens when you search Monday Matt. And then I'll do one. What is he going under now? Is he just doing his normal name like Matt Jarbo? Is that? I guess so. Oh, <laughs> that's even worse. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Let's uh let's take a look at what uh, results you get when you when you search him up. In case he find like you know somebody stumbles on his videos, they're like, oh my god, this guy, it's the best shit ever. I love his cold takes. I love this cookie cutter shit. Oh, he's like the, he's, he's a blunted edge. There's no danger here. I feel comfortable. I feel calm. I'm snug under this blanket listening to Mr. Jarbo. Tell me about <laughs> fucking CNN articles. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look. So if you look up Monday, Matt, uh, this is the, this is the result you're going to be getting. It gives you his Twitter, which I don't think that's his fucking Twitter anymore. I think somebody stole the name from him. Goes right to his Ed thing. There's the ballot. There's the look. These are the three top videos that come up: the ballot of Monday Matt, the career suicide of Monday Matt, and Monday Matt sides with Vox. None of those are positive. <laughs> Not a single fucking one of those is good. And if you look up Matt Jarbo, it's a little better, but it, it immediately goes to the. Again, I think the abandoned Monday Matt handle uh, into some wiki, you get to ED by like the fifth or sixth result, but then <laughs> it's, it's nothing but Jarbo the Hut in Ear Juice. It's a celebration of Matt Jarbo obituary from fucking December of last year. That stuck as the top recommended video <laughs> for eight fucking months. And then Jarbo the Hut explains his software. And finally, the last Jarbo, a character study of Monday Matt and his antics. Oh, he is fucking toast. Yeah, there's no recovery from this, Matt. I don't know if you should be talking shit to Masterson, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> you know, Dick already went through his, uh, his crucible, his breakup with Maddox, and he came out fine. Audience sided with him. He's an affable guy. People like him. I don't know. I don't know why you decided you wanted to start shit with that, but that's probably a bad idea. Oh, fuck! 
I can't. Yeah, he he's never gonna unfuck himself. There's there's no way to unfuck this. What's been fucked is not going to be unfucked for Mr. Matt. I've got some superior lemon chats. Uh, death green horse. Kill all pedophiles. Protect the kids. Well, you're you're gonna watch pedophiles getting killed eventually on one of the seasons of The Boys. From Sardi, will you cover the Jessica Yanev Ballwax saga? Uh, tangentially. Well, not tangentially. What? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, kind of. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, from Lupum, morning, Jim. Uh, morning to you. Uh, from Lupum again. Hope Wild Smile gets a personality of his own soon. From Gertie D. Uh, a couple with no message. I don't know if they got removed or if there just wasn't one. Uh, Lupum again. Speaking about personal or personality, laugh my ass off. From Thorkel, Matt's too flat with presentation, low energy. And a ninja guinea. I, I see people sending stuff in, but I don't know if... Is DLive taking messages down? Can you guys... Is anybody... I don't think I have any fucking chat settings where it's prohibiting you saying something. Where would I even fucking look for this? Alright, let me... Chat room settings. It's got hide stickers and disable stickers, but obviously those are working. I don't know. Maybe all my jokes about Chinese lemons have offended them. Maybe now we're being put in a little dark box never to come out again. I I don't fucking know. Oh, from the Yufio answer. Did you make the Boulder King as sore as Brent Spiner's ass? I don't know if that's possible. Mr. Spiner's been... Getting fucked pretty hard. Gail put up a new video, actually, in regards to Brent Spiner and his wonderful asshole. Talking about... I One thing I didn't get to cover yet is the fact that uh, Gail is so committed to her love of Brent and fighting against his evil clones that she made a Twitter account for him. And she claims it's the real Brent Spiner. And they would talk back and forth and try to flag down the other Brent Spiner, you know, the checkmarked one, the clone. they try to get that removed. Apparently, Jack and Twitter didn't uh, didn't like that. They took down the real Brent and left the imposter up. So Gail's very upset about that right now. My thoughts and prayers go out to her. Hopefully, uh, the rest of the Star Trek community can pull together and fight these dastardly clones in Laurie McBride's evil anal raping uh, empire. Really put a stop to it. It's um, terrible things. Uh, now, yeah, somebody brought up Yaniv. You know, why don't we... I, I saw a video of Yaniv <laughs> on uh, Twitter acting insane. And it actually... This is what I meant by tangentially. So let me, let me grab this really quick. Uh, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Where they go into... Oh, I, I don't want to spoil it. I'll just play it. Uh, I'll play it for you, chat. And then I thought, you know when I was watching this. Why don't we talk about crazy trannies? <laughs> it reminds me of uh, cultural Marxism assist story. And for whatever reason, with all the YouTube purges, that video still exists. Amazing. I thought we could watch that. Because that video, talking about batshit crazy trannies pushing into female spaces, went up like six years ago. You know, Yaniv is a really good highlight of, uh, of what happens when you become a little too progressive and you put protections in place that let people abuse a system and nobody can call them out because if you do, you're labeled a bigot. And they're really working that. So uh, let's see. Here's the video. Pull this one up. Uh, it's from Dan Dix. This is Jessica Yaniv losing, her, uh, losing his mind after I introduced myself. Called 911. Pulled a fire alarm. Threatened to pepper spray me then had his mom physically assault me. What well, sounds like a fun day at court? Oh, just like a secure area. Public, get out. Secure, get out. This is a public space. No, it's not. Get, get out. Yeah, it get is. Out. Get out or I will pepper spray you. Excuse get me? Out. No, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. Go out. No. Hey, 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 get, get out. out. Don't touch me. You go out. Out. Out you go. Yeah, she just pulled the fire out. I did. I am on the phone. Get in here. Get in here. Get in. 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 Yeah. So progressive. Yeah, so aggressive, eh? Hey? Progressive. Uh, Nicely done. What a fucking shit show this entire debacle has turned out to be. 
Like if you read the the reports from people, the eyewitnesses reports uh, from people that are actually at these hearings, this Human Rights Commission, whatever retarded gay Canadian shit it is, talking about just the goofy sideshow circus mentality shit that's going on in this place where the mother is like screaming about my baby boy my baby boy's gonna have a medical issue calling ambulances calling police them threatening all these different women that are showing up threatening different reporters just acting fucking insane it's it's a, a remarkable show i mean who thought who who saw that coming <laughs> the transsexuals might be a little you know mentally unbalanced god i i don't know luckily i can speculate as to this i'm not canadian i'm not going to get hauled off into a human rights commission meeting and told to whack some fucking crazy dude's balls <laughs> i'm a little i don't think the chinese lemon emperor gives a shit if we talk about it over here to be honest with you i'm fairly certain he doesn't give two fucks uh, but yes this reminded me of cultural marxism assist story so let me let me grab that and let's just let's take a look at it it's been a while it's a fucking great video <laughs> everything about this video is perfection i mean well i don't want to spoil it well let me, let me put this up full screen for everybody just to kind of talk about it. oh they're so loud it's already so loud i want to set the stage for you because you're going to be confused jumping right into this and you're going to be wondering things like why is that fat dude with huge tits walking around half naked wearing a superhero cape? Or why are all these uh, butch dyke lesbians getting into a fight with some really prissy, prissy little latte drinking white boy? Uh, it, this is my understanding of it. Uh, so there were a group of women on this campus that had a problem with the trans community pushing into their spaces, as they like to call it. Uh, the trans community got upset and kept referring to them as, what is the fucking term they use? TERFs? A trans-exclusionary radical feminist or some shit like that. It's hard to keep up on the lingo. They always expand it. It's always some new fucking term with these people, and it's hard to keep track of them all. I know that one's been around for a while, but you get the point. Now, this was back in 2012, 2013, and the whole argument are these, these feminists, these women, are uncomfortable around trannies. They're uncomfortable saying that they're you know, like physically and sexually intimidating and stalking and violent and they want to do weird shit and they're trying to push into their space. Uh, what we're seeing happening right now in Canada, when you see all these stories or with the library story of all the kids that are getting brought in and you've got uh, fucking people dressed as women, some of them are convicted pedophiles, other weird crazy shit happening. So this argument's been around for a while. I just like watching the left eat the left. I like watching these groups devour themselves. Because they knew it was coming. They had no excuse not to know what was coming. They set up all their pet minorities and all their special interest groups. And they've tried to make them, uh, you know, equality and equitability, right, between all of them. But that's never going to work. Because one crazy group is going to want to be stronger than the other crazy groups. And all these special protections and laws and campus dictates and all this other fucking retarded shit has set together a coliseum for our entertainment. And Yaniv is the most uh, recent example of that. But cultural Marxism assist story, that's an oldie but a goodie. So we'll watch that. And you can see that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Because this crazy, bizarre shit has just been going on for forever. Oh, I'm sorry. One last lemon chat. Uh, Thorkill, you damn bigots need to wax those female balls. Yeah. What happened to that slippery slope argument, folks? W weren't we all told that that wasn't real? Wasn't that the thing that everybody was assured? Oh, bake the cake, bigot. Now you're waxing people's nuts. <laughs> you think it's going to end there, do you? You think it's going to stop there? Oh, the dictates of society of a progressive liberated intelligent society telling its citizens that they they need to get with the times or else you would better use those pronouns or you're going to prison you'd better bake that cake you'd better massage those nuts you'd better not make any jokes that's hate speech oh it's pure lunacy now usually as somebody who's you know conservative even if you're a, a centrist i suppose i you know it's unnerving because you could be the victim of that 
But remember, the bigger it gets, the bigger the shit that these people, you know, uh, put forward, the more special laws and bylaws that they put up. Eventually, it just focuses them on themselves, and it becomes a, a competition to see who's going to be king of shit mountain. So let's watch an old competition and find out who tried to be king of shit mountain this time. Oh, oh, I don't want to jump ahead. Don't want to spoil it. <laughs> what a very... Uh, you already know you're in for a treat. The video hasn't even started. And you've got one, two, three, three levels of blubber. Look at that. <laughs> Look at those crevices. Three levels of blubber, tits hanging out. And of course, this person and their fucking skirt uh, has a giant box of Crayola markers. Like, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> So you've got the little weak, liberal, white, effeminate male in his fucking fedora trying his best to cosplay as Justin Timberlake next to a obese thing that's wearing a superhero cape with a box of magic markers on their fucking belt screeching at a couple of dykes who just want to be left the fuck alone because they're sick of dealing with these bizarre trannies and ultra progressives I'm shouting over them I'm shouting over them like in every other I'm shouting over them I just said do you want to go back to the conversation we have a grandstand for your friends it's not about let's go it kind of looks like Jim Sterling if you've ever watched his videos because he wears a bunch of costumes like I could picture that's Jim Sterling <laughs> and this is an episode of the Jimquisition where I don't know what game he'd be reviewing to be honest with you I don't know what game stars a bunch of transsexuals and bull dykes but whatever it is that's the game and this is just the video that's been lost to time. People forgot about it. This is an unwanted sexual advance. That's actually sexual harassment. You're sexually harassing me? Uh, by telling me that I... Oh, you know, actually, let me just interject this right now. Um, to tell you how insane it's gotten, this is, I believe, on a college campus. There's a story recently of a guy that's suing his ex-university. I, I don't believe he's a student there anymore. If he had any common sense, he sure as shit isn't. Where he was uh, brought forward under, is it Title IX? About sexual assault on the campus grounds. Now, this poor son of a bitch meets a girl flirts with a girl, she flirts with him, they have sex, she likes it, he likes it, they continue to be friendly and cordial, until later on her friends give her shit over it, and she says, no, 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 I was raped. He gets brought before the college's board of who you can put your dick into, or whatever the fuck they call it, and under a new rule, they find that he's guilty of sexual assault, and put him on a one-year suspension. Now, this is how crazy it's gotten. This is the point you're at now. When he was brought before this committee and they told him, you're guilty of sexual assault, the sexual assault they found him guilty of, they said that he coerced her through cajoling her because he said she was pretty. He texted a woman and said, I think you're very beautiful. And they said that was cajoling, which is coercion, which is forcible sexual assault and suspended him for a year. When his lawyer, who he did end up getting after this crazy shit happened, asked the college for another hearing because they couldn't find the terminology for cajoling or coercion like that in any of the laws or bylaws, the college held another meeting and uh, they retroactively instituted it and then went back to the student and his lawyer and said, no, we've decided now after your trial that you're guilty of something that didn't exist at the time and you're still suspended for a year and we're not going to give you a second hearing. So now he's suing them. So when this little Justin Timberlake impersonator 
starts screeching about, well, you said something publicly to me just now when we're screaming at each other, and that's sexual harassment. Like, you're under a gun. Like, you get that, right? Stick to community colleges. Don't go to the private universities or even the state colleges anymore. You're fucked. Anything and everything. You're going to have... I mean, this is how absurd it's become. This fat piece of whale shit walking around without a shirt on, identifying as a Zur, wearing a superhero cape with a box of magic markers, and their sidekick, Justin Timberlake. They run the show now. If you step out of line, if you say something, it doesn't even... You you can say, how's the weather? And it's at a point now where they can say that's uh, some form of sexual harassment and you're gone for a year. The only thing, I guess, that's different from when this video went up and now is that those two lesbians who were arguing with them, they'd be gone. They would be the ones that get kicked out of college. That is what sexual harassment is. And let's look at the language you were using before. No. Yeah, you just sexually harassed me, actually. I'm harassed. I'm harassed. Why were you talking to the trans lady once you talked to as opposed to this woman? I would have, but then you, she turned to talk to someone else and I was talking to her. You and she. She was trying to talk to you. You kept interrupting her. But she does not have a space. Oh, my God. They're delusional. She does not have valid spaces like you do in our community. You know, I almost wonder, too, kind of watching this shit from the past and some of the things that are going on currently, if we're going to see some weird kind of alliance between right-wingers, conservatives, the alt-right, and actual feminists, I wonder if feminists are going to have to take a moment, step back, look around and say, holy shit, we, we kind of fucked ourselves. We can't go after transsexuals. We have to let them get away with anything. And the only people that are saying this is wrong are those patriarchal guys that we shit on for two decades. All those cis het white males that we like to rage on about are the only ones saying we're not crazy when we tell them that having a dude in a dress makes us fucking freaked out. Uh, you do, you do, you do, you do and you're all, you're talking over her. I don't understand why you as a marginalized person can further marginalize uh, the other... You marginalize someone by saying, look, everyone needs space sometimes. Sometimes you have space uh, you have other people. You are invalidating the existence of women. No. I know this might be, with all their buzzwords, a little hard to follow, but basically fat ass here is yelling at Bull Dyke. And fat ass is saying, <laughs> okay, the lesbian's basically saying, we just want to be left alone. Can you just leave us alone? We just want to do shit together and be left alone. And the fat person is saying, no. By, by saying you don't want to hang out with us, all these trannies, by saying you don't want to hang out with trannies, you're invalidating womanhood. <laughs> by telling the men in dresses that you don't want to have a slumber party with them. You're no different than the patriarchy. Uh, yeah. you are doing, that's, that's what you're doing. Bullshit. You're sitting there saying that, like, you need space from trans women. Trans women shouldn't be okay. excluded. Okay. They should be included. So you're saying right now that trans say, women, trans women aren't women. That's what you're telling me. I, no, please, answer that question. Uh, uh, answer yeah. that question. Right? You, you can't answer that question because... As women? Okay, no, no. There is... Is she such a woman? I have a vagina. Yes, I, I call myself a woman. I identify as a woman. It's like, <laughs> I have a vagina. I identify as a woman. I call myself a woman. And I walk around college campus and I answer to the name Fat Zorro. I don't wear a mask because I don't need a mask. Security cameras can't catch my visage because I'm so fucking ugly it breaks glass. So I just wear my black cape I'm the obese Zorro walking around with my Crayola magic markers. I kind of like this just for the fact that, you know, uh, 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 as they would define it, cishet white culture uh, would look at feminists and say, God, they're kind of weird. And the feminists would get upset and say, no, we're not. Now eat our period brownies. And now here the feminists and, the you know, these lesbians are sitting on a park bench as somebody dressed as a fat Zorro with fucking Crayola markers tells them that penises really are vaginas. <laughs> Talk about getting a dose of your own fucking medicine. 
offended how could you say that a penis isn't a pretty trans vagina you know it's gonna go from bake the cake bigot to wax my balls bigot to suck my trans pe or my trans pussy bigot like the, the groundwork has already been laid the groundwork exists you're watching it it's been festering for years and it's gonna be so bizarre watching especially lesbians that are in women's groups and that are just a part of feminist movements have to deal with this <laughs> being told that you're you're actually a bigot because you won't suck a dick because that dick is actually a vagina that is some next level shit man my friend who has a uh, penis who identifies as a woman is more female than I will ever be because guess what she's a woman ergo she's a woman I actually don't need to I can actually say fuck off and I don't want to talk to you and that's fine but that's so much you invited me to come have a conversation with you you also invited me to have a conversation either your memory is very very bad okay well time out time out one table one mic for one moment okay one table one mic for one moment Oh, God, if I was the dyke, I'd punch her. I'd punch her when she said, one diva, one mic. Listen, fat ass, you're not a diva. You don't come close to the definition of what a diva is. You are wearing fake pearls, a Zorro cape, a fucking... I, I, she killed a bird, dyed it red, and glued it to her head. And Crayola magic markers. That's not a diva look. That's a crazy meth head homeless person look. You look like you should be living in a box behind a Costco. Not snapping your fingers in a sassy manner up on stage with Beyonce. So, no problem. Let's bring it, let's bring it down a I have no problem with giving coffee yeah. and trying to open up dialogue, especially as a trans ally. I have no problem doing that. But the problem is that every time somebody's trying to talk to you, you immediately start interrupting. You're doing it right now! Oh my god. Right now. She's right now. a loser. You see how crazy this is? There's like a group of 20 of them. There's one lesbian, like one or two lesbians sitting on a park bench, surrounded by these fucking freaks, screaming at them, saying, you need to accept us. And every time the lesbian, I, I feel bad for them. Every time the lesbian tries to say, we you leave us the fuck alone? They get chastised and yelled at. You know. You magical unicorn land and she got offended by that what do you mean i'm not crazy i don't live in a fantasy land do you see my cape and the dead bird on my head i'm perfectly sane and rational just because you have a giant throbbing penis doesn't mean you're not a pretty little girl i just you could see look at the frustration <laughs> look at the frustration that they don't know how to deal with this this monster that's been unleashed on them all they, they don't know how to counter it. I'm gonna have a conversation with you. Are you just Don't you understand? You that you invalidate a woman's womanness. You are not being a barrier. She just said. You say trans women are not female. You're being invalidated. Trans women are not female. They're not fucking female. It is not a big deal. And that's the thing. Women are not fucking female. Women are not fucking female. It is not a big deal. And that 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 is not a big deal. And
You need to get your business out of what is indecent. You need to fuck off because lesbians like female. I'm not a lesbian. I'm queer. Yeah, no shit. This is the fucking point. This is. I'm not. A, what did that even mean? What did Blubber mean when she said, "I'm not. I'm not a lesbian. I'm queer." <laughs> what, okay. What are you fucking frying pans? You got a jar of peanut butter for the dogs in the neighborhood? What are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not a lesbian. I'm queer. Oh, you got him laying down the banter. The thunder came right out of your fat fucking ass cheeks and vanquished. You brapped her to death. Good going. We are not queer. We are what? lesbians. What? You know, the other thing I want to bring up, too, as we watch this, and I do think it's really important when you're listening to this kind of crazy babbling bullshit, is one of the arguments they're having, one of the overarching arguments of this entire video is about, they're saying, you're excluding and invalidating trans women by not letting them into women's events you know uh women's counseling for sexual abuse and you're not uh letting them into women's shelters <laughs> okay that's that's the thing they're upset about because trans women are women have you noticed a trend lately over the last i'd say two to three years of all these female athletes in high school and college getting really fucked up over the fact that the scholarships they used to get and the placements and awards and accolades they used to get for being the fastest female or being the best at whatever sport or activity they were in, have been taken from them. As more and more men that identify as women join the track team, join the wrestling team, join the volleyball team, join the baseball team, and usurp their place and their sport that was segregated because we understand men and women can't compete. There are physiological differences, bone structure, muscle density, fucking hormones, all of that. There's a reason they're segregated. But all those female athletes who I'm sure five years ago were like, no, you don't understand. Trans women are women, are now reaping what they've sown. They're losing all their spots on these teams. They're losing all their scholarships and all their money and all their accolades. When you look at Yaniv, Yaniv, whatever, when you look at what they're doing, making people wax their balls, do you really think it's going to stop there? It's going to keep being pushed. And it's going to be pushed into more personal spaces. Gynecology offices. You know, you never wanted to do an all uh, all children's swim fest where they went topless, which is creepy as fuck. But what are these women going to do when there's some domestic abuse shelter or some rape shelter specifically designed for women that actually have gone through that? And some dude with a beard and a dress who's six foot five and 300 pounds decides they want to hang out there because somebody, you know, misgendered them on a college campus. Imagine how nerve-wracking that would be. You just get brutally raped and beaten. You flee to some shelter hoping that you can find safety there, and you're greeted by a bunch of weird men in dresses that want to go on a swim trip with your children topless, but you're not allowed to go. I love this slippery slope argument that it doesn't exist that people won't keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, that they won't try to take more, that they won't make it more weird and more uncomfortable and more progressive because we're finally watching the end result of it. We're watching the end result. What was that kid? Desmond is amazing. Oh my God, he's a drag queen. That's super sassy. And what's already happening with that? He's dancing for men on fucking stripper stages and having money put in his fucking underwear. They're actual open pedophiles basically jacking off about this kid, talking about how sexy he is. It's just weird. And it keeps getting pushed to more and more extreme levels of fucking uncomfortable. And these nutcases run the asylum. <laughs> you, you look at Canada, they have fucking codified it in law. I mean, so far in the U.S., you're dealing with maybe one or two regional laws about pronouns, and then the college campuses have lost their minds. But wait till the legal system catches up. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. Because I all, all did say the exact same thing this person is saying. So. Right. You had a vote. 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 You
Uh, to, I'm yeah. sorry, was there, was there some question as to whether this woman's right opinion because is valid? Because, because you're saying that this woman's opinion is valid yeah, because she's not a lesbian. Mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah, I, I, it I, I, is. So if you're going to talk to me, you should talk to me. I don't need to talk to you Well, you invited me to have no, a conversation. No, I invited her. And we were again, not. Again, we go into the whole thing about how you actually did invite me to have a conversation. This poor lesbian. Just telling fucking Timberlake here to fuck off. Like, go away. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the fat ass in the Zorro cape. You can, you can go suck a dick through a glory hole or whatever it is you do on a Tuesday. I want to talk to Fatty instead. But see, that's what I'm talking about. They're so pushy. They're so fucking pushy. They won't stop. This is a great a little microcosm of the bigger issue. Like, they just push up, surround the person, and dictate what they want to say. And every response is, you're wrong, you need to educate yourself, you're a bigot, you're phobic, you have issues. And they just get bombarded and fed this shit nonstop. What would you like to say? I, I, well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm curious, you, you, were, you were calling this woman's opinion into question because... No, because, I, she's entitled to her opinion. Well, but you were saying that she, because, she, because she's queer and not a lesbian, no, 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 in her no. opinion, that's isn't valid. No, I was so saying... So I'm a lesbian, would you no, like to have I, the same conversation with me? I was saying we are different. <laughs> I'm a lesbian. Justin Timberlake's a lesbian, everyone. I'm a lesbian with my penis. <laughs> what? I, you know, sometimes I wonder if, like, I'm 50-50 on it. Sometimes I wonder if, like, a couple of fraternities got together in the 90s and they're like, how can we fuck lesbians? Like, dude, how can we nail lesbian chicks and get away with it? And not just get away with it, but make them want to do it because they'll feel bad if they don't. Like, if, if it was just a couple of fraternities that came up with this crazy shit to get laid and to fuck a couple of cute lesbians, and it just, it spiraled out of control, and now nobody can stop this monster from continuing onwards. Oh, I've, we've got one from Lupum. Wait, this is coming to the U.S., really? Oh, it's already here. Killed a bird, dyed it red, glued it to her head. She did very much. I have some Chinese lemons for the scurvy. Oh, well, that's the only way to treat it. Uh, from Thorkel. Uh, yes, of course. Wax those female balls. Female balls. Do you ever think you'd have to hear somebody use that term and actually mean it? My female testicles. <laughs> My female junk. My female penis. Wow. People are fucking insane. As I was like lesbian, and she's like queer, and I'm like, this and that's part of the thing. Okay, I'm a lesbian. Would you would you like to would you like to eliminate the issue? I don't know you. Issue? What would you like? To you don't know you don't know this person. So. I don't know her either. What do you want to say? I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of wondering what you were invalidating you're, about her opinion I, I, because she's not a lesbian. Her opinion? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Mean, I just said you're queer. I'm a lesbian. I, and you I, said that's it. That's it. Like that's that's the answer. And you're not. It is the fucking answer. You are invalidating people within our community, whether you think so or not. What does that matter, by the way? I hear this all the time. You're invalidating my identity, my opinion. So what? Okay, you've been invalidated. Deal with it. What, what are you going to do? <laughs> You're going to go find somebody to validate it? Oh, oh, that, that's like, the, that's like the, uh, the period at the end of every statement for these fuckers. You're invalidating. Okay, and? Is there a follow-up to that? Do you need to be validated? <laughs> Is that... Is that some amendment on the Constitution I'm fucking forgetting? That everybody needs to be validated with the crazy shit they believe? I'm validating people within our community. No, I'm not! I'm not! You have validity within our community. Please tell me I'm invalidating anybody in our community. Please tell me I'm invalidating anybody in our community. Please tell me I'm invalidating anybody in our community. Please tell me I'm invalidating anybody in our community. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because you're talking about the aisle. And you're up. You can't back up with the fuck you're talking about. Are you insane? We can all... I'm not insane! What did America do? Like, where did we fuck up? 
How did our children turn into this? How did this argument even come about? Was it PC culture? Was it everybody getting a participation award? There's no shame anymore. There's no embarrassment anymore. This effeminate little fucker sitting here in his gay little outfit, just arguing all day long with his interpersonal communication language that he learned in a 101 class, just harping on it. Oh, invalidation, invalidation, sis, het, all this shit. When did children become this? I mean, I hope progressives out there understand that generally, it's, it's not always, but generally, every generation opposes the generation that came before it. It's that rebellious streak. It's just part of human nature. I mean, there, there are multiple models talking about how it's cyclical with four different generations interspersed, but more or less, all these people that are growing up and acting like this, their children, the children, not even, not even really Gen Z, but the next group. I, I don't know what they're going to be. I almost think they're going to be, they're going to be straight up hard, like real Nazis. Like they're going to look at this and their parents, and they're going to become actual Nazis. Like that's the only way they're going to be able to rebel against it, because it's so cartoonish and absurd. How do you rebel? You have to become the most authoritarian, state-loving discipline-loving sort of individual that you could become. They, they, they've created a time bomb, and they're sitting right on top of it, and they don't realize it. And it's it's remarkable to me. Or are we going to get rid of that? And all these other women out here, I'm talking to you, and according to your logic, that means she can't talk to me. So. Yeah, well, I'm basically using your same tactics what time? because when I was talking to you about things that this person was saying, you said I wasn't allowed to talk to you. you said I didn't talk to you before. I I'm not talking that. to this woman. Therefore, think, according to your I logic, said, I don't have I think to listen I said to her. you were being an asshole, and I actually no, you didn't actually say that. Well, you're now being, you're saying you're being no, an asshole. Well, I don't what, what is it exactly about what I'm doing as being an asshole? Are you kidding? Do you know this dude's tactics? It's like a little kid that walks up to you and says, and they put their finger like a, a millimeter from your fucking eyeball, and then they just keep taunting, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. I'm not being an asshole. Yeah, you kind of are. It's pretty clear the lesbian just doesn't want to talk to any of you. I, I don't blame her. And you just won't fuck off. I think at this point she's told him like maybe 10 times, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not interested in talking to you. But the power dynamic here is so flipped. It's so crazy. that They can't get away. There's nothing to get away. There's nowhere to run. If they try to go to their women's only lesbian group, fucking Zorro here is going to follow them. You know what you're doing to be an asshole? You're, you're like... I, I, I'm, I'm actually not saying... Trans, I can't like against trans people. actually explain what you're saying. It's really so hard for you to actually explain what you're saying. I don't think... Is it just a hard thing? Yeah, it's just I'm like the bad. bulletin boards. Like, you're, you're not... No one is really hearing really each other. other. Board, we, would be, we would be filming. You're the one filming right now. No, actually. Well, okay, somebody's filming now, but this person is here. It's totally fine. Because I'm pretty sure we share the word asshole in our vocabulary. The fact that you're having difficulty explaining why I'm an asshole makes me kind of doubt your Yeah, we're done. We're done, right? We're done. Okay. I still exist, though. Can you logically explain to me in a rational way, citing Wikipedia, why I'm a giant cocksucking faggot? Like, if you can't do that, then I'm just not going to accept your definition of this insult. And I'm going to sit here and talk to you about how trans penises are the prettiest vaginas on this college campus, and you need to suck them. All right, when I say eat pussy, what I mean is suck dick. <laughs> so obnoxious. Uh, and, and I, I know, I, I understand that you exist, but you are telling us that trans women don't exist. I'm actually women. not telling you anything. No, but you are. I met you right now in a very aggressive fashion. You approached me, which I was expecting. And I was like, what would you like to say? The same thing I just said, that you're still avoiding and evading. What is it exactly about what I'm doing that's being because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm following sad. the same. You're, you're interrupting me. Sad. I'm sorry. I'm talking right now. You're not allowed to interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you something to misgender me? Not intentionally. Oh, uh, really? No. See, this is what I'm talking about. You see the smile that came across Justin Timberlake's face? That's they understand. It's again. I keep going back to like.
playground mentalities. Like, these are the faggots that would do something obnoxious and then run to teacher first to get you in trouble. Like, she's straight up telling him, you're just a dick. Like, you're an asshole. I don't like you as a person. You're, you're just a massive cunt. And he's waiting and waiting and waiting. And then says, are you trying to misgender me? And the instant he said that, look at this. Because he, he, he knows. He knows that now he that's a gotcha in this environment. Look at this smile spread on their face when they say that. You're trying to misgender me? That impression. <laughs> oh, I'm really? You see that? That giant smirk? That I'm in control here now shit? You need to check your fucking privilege, Baldike. I, Justin Timberlake, with the prettiest little girl penis, am here to check that fucking privilege. Okay, you I'll need to that. check your fucking sis privilege. <laughs> just fucking nailed him with it. Check it. Educate yourself, shit lord. I will check. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? Twenty unicorn. years from now. Twenty years from now. She's gonna think she'll be the one twenty. No, no, not that you'll be. Because I just shit. That. Because shit will still be bad for females, and no one will give a fucking oh, shit about it. Please. Right? Really? Yes, really. Do you know how? I am really. Is someone who knows what females are doing? Do you realize? Do you realize? I'm sure you're. You know, you're not a very politically minded person. You know what marginalization means, right? Oh, oh, what does it mean? Well, you're doing it to so you, people. You were in the middle of and trying yeah, to make an answer to me. And yeah, you're telling us that we're, but like, the people are marginalizing you. Like, that's fucked it's up. Kind of that's like saying that, that somebody's that robbing your house. I understand that. And yeah. we should have solidarity about yeah. that, but you shouldn't exclude trans women. You do realize, women. you do realize that this conversation became necessary when women respect, I'm sorry, when females respectfully said, this legislation is stepping on our petticoat a little bit, and this is what we would suggest. I, I think and we're when we did cisgender. that, when we did that, we were threatened with death. We were told we were bigots. We were told because we were you are. Well, then how? Okay, then we've called you out on it, and you've done nothing about it. Back to fuck off with this like magical. Oh, we need to have a conversation. You don't want to have a. No, I do want to have a conversation. Have I was having a conversation. conversation. I was interested in having you a conversation. You would like to tell us. us. Nailed it. I mean, that's that's an accurate fucking assessment. I just... I really hope all these lesbians and all these women's groups that have dealt with this crazy shit on college campuses, that have seen it firsthand uh, how these people operate and how they're invasive and just force their way in and just bulldoze over and all the concerns they have when they're talking about, it makes us uncomfortable. You're making us uncomfortable. Could you just stop? I hope they understand that when uh, those evil, terrible Republicans and conservatives and alt-right people say, you know, it's kind of weird that somebody like Yaniv wants to have a topless swimming meetup with children. It's kind of weird that we're letting pedophiles and dresses into libraries with children. You know, maybe we have some concerns about invasiveness into uh, safe spaces, you know, for kids. Maybe this group that's been causing issues for you is causing issues for everyone. And you've unleashed it. You created this monster. Your inclusivity-mindedness, your nothing-but-progressiveness-mindedness has created a monster you cannot control anymore. You can't reel it back in. Maybe we're not the bad guys. Maybe those are genuine concerns we have, and you have as well. And maybe you should be standing on this side of the argument with us. But you would like. Uh, we don't want to do that. That's... We are not interested in that. No, okay. 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 Tra trans no, women aren't creeping on your that. territory. Trans women what? don't want to date you because you're too fucking ignorant. 
No you. trans women want to date you. I don't want to date you. She doesn't want to date you. No trans women. You're a fucking lunatic. Because this is about dating. Why the fuck would it? It's not about women's rights. It's about dating. I'm going to go because I have so much rage right now. I was having a conversation until... Oh, they're such attention whores, too. This kind of person is such a massive fucking attention whore. I have so much rage right now. That's why I don't sound angry. I just, all eyes on me. Everybody look at me. I'm the center of everything that exists. In my Zorro cape with my fat tits hanging to my knees. And my Crayola magic markers. And the dead bird on my head. I need to be grandiose in everything I do. I need to pantomime my arms out to the fucking sky like I'm calling down Jesus. So all eyes are on me. Me, 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 me. I have so much rage. I'm just so upset. Oh, my God. Have you considered how upset Zorro is? Oh, like I said, it's the kid in school. These people are the kids in school that would do something and everybody would say, you can't do that. You're acting like an asshole. And then immediately to get out of trouble, they'd run to teacher first and make something up to get you in trouble. This asshole has been screaming at her for like, what are we, 13 minutes now? Forcing his way into a conversation. And when she finally says, what the fuck do you want? He's like, you think I want to talk to you? Who said I want to talk to you? Like, motherfucker, you're standing in front of her. You've been standing there for over 10 minutes yelling at her. Obviously, you want to say something. You attention whore. Listening to what I you, you saying, never said anything. To what I'm, Keep talking I'm sorry, about I'm talking. talking right now. So I'm talking to this person. According to your logic, that means you're not allowed to talk to me. So, uh, would you, anyway, you actually my conversation is, is over. Like, yeah. this, you're not even listening to me. Sounds like a broken record. Not even listening to me. How can we have a conversation? Sam Hyde was right. Early and often. This guy's attitude could have been corrected so easily if he had been bullied early and often. They're not even fucking listening. Okay, what would you like to, what would you like to point out to me? Uh, I've already pointed out quite a few things to you. You I haven't answered any of them. Well, you, let me say that you've been very aggressive with me. You've been very You're stepping in my personal space. space. You oh, are, no. have been in my personal space. You sexually space. harassed me, actually. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah, you did. You invited me to sit on your lap. I was Unwanted. making fun and of I, you because uh, you're uh, a I'm giant sorry. asshole. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. You're, you sexually harassed me. And now you're saying I'm a giant asshole. Yes, I'm saying you're a giant asshole. It's a giant asshole. What, what is it exactly that I'm doing that's being... Like, like, I'm just amazed. Take a hint. Nobody likes you. Timberlake, you're a fucking dick. Nobody likes you. Don't pretend you don't get that. You get it. You just can't. He can't cope with it. He cannot cope with the fact that nobody likes his stupid fedora-wearing ass. Being, this being a giant ass. What you're you're, you're right failing now, to, you have failed so no, far to this, explain this. this. You coming up with my, my body language is being a giant ass. You're not saying anything. What do you want to say? Yeah, what would you like to say? You're saying, yeah. What, what, you, I'm going to put that aside. What, what problem exactly do you have with accepting all females as females? What problem do you have Trans. with a word, cis, Tra that okay. has been come up with specifically to describe your body type? Who Why? the fuck are you to describe my body type? I have a fucking word for that. It's female. Give me a, like, a, a, I have a word for my body type and everyone else around here's body type. It's also female. Well, good for it's you. It's necessary to create a linguistic... 
uh, and distinction between and some disagree. people's bodies and other people's and bodies, specifically because you have a problem with some people's bodies. We, it is your problem with some people's bodies. Let me finish, finish no, my no, goddamn I'm motherfucking not, sentence. No, I'm not. You interrupt that me is constantly. Oh, that is his first sentence. You, you are showing bullshit. no respect for anybody else's opinion because you constantly interrupt them. You constantly come to women and tell them they are bigots for recognizing that female and male are different. That is gaslighting. Female and male are different. However, you keep coming up with this bullshit the, the designation of other people's bodies is not female. I don't know your body. I don't know you. I I'm not no talking about my body. I, I never mentioned my body. I, I, I actually asked you to try to define my body I don't, I, and you seemed unable to give an answer. I don't, so. I don't, I don't actually the shit about you as a person. Oh, that's I don't nice. know you. I, <laughs> oh, well, here's the thing, champ. Uh, I'm not interested in defining uh, what magical term you've come up with for your penis and trying to explain why your penis isn't a penis. I just think you're a massive fucking asshole. And I want to see you get hit by a bus. That's where we're at right now. I want to see a tractor run over you. But I want it to be an old tractor so it takes a long time. So like that big fucking wheel that weighs like a ton, just can't quite make it. And it squirts out your intestines from your asshole in your mouth like a tube of toothpaste that you slam against the bathroom sink. That's where we're sitting at, champ, Mr. Fedora. I want to see your body desecrated. That's all I know of you. That, because of my female socialization, does not make me feel safe around you, makes me think you're a predator, makes me think you're kind of a prick. It actually so that, has nothing to do with your female socialization. It doesn't? Because plenty of people it here without female socialization are you telling me think that what you my are experience a is? Are you telling me what my, you're, now you're invalidating my experience, right? I'm no. telling you what her right? experience is. Right? I think you kind of, no, I just said what my experience and, and she's saying no. You're labeling that experience as female socialization, therefore distinguishing it from other people's socialization. Would you, you no. Would you let me finish my goddamn I'm sentence? Would you let me finish my goddamn sentence? No, I'm not. You're, 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 you're having, you intend to how do you think he'd react to a punch? Like if somebody just walked up to him and just whistled, and when he turned around, just fucking hauled off and knocked him on his ass. Would that be the most triggering thing to ever happen? Would he shatter like glass? I could just, what would that do to his attitude? Do you think he'd run up to lesbians screaming at them about his female penis after getting laid on the floor? Do you think that would solve the issue? I just, I'm asking questions. Yeah. Not for you, I think you're kind of an asshole. Don't talk to me. Okay, so you're just going to silence me like that. So I, I, say the word, just say, just say I'm silencing you, and I'll stop. To you. If you say I'm silencing you, thank you very much. Except you're not actually part of this conversation because of your distinction. I thought maybe I had a magic wand like she does. Face even worse. I, I, no, I'm I, 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 I refuse. To, to, you refuse to admit what you're doing, what, you, what it is you're actually so, doing. You won't answer for things such as posting the names, uh, birth names of women on your website, as well as photos of them taken years ago, in addition to their current names and a current photo, right. which is in fact opening these women up to violent, violent right. repercussions, right. which you have done on your site several times. Yeah. And do you have absolutely no at all reason to understand why? Putting people who are at risk of bodily harm. The dyke fucked up. She's got fat Wonder Woman. <laughs> fat Wonder Woman and fat Zorro. It's like an obese Justice League has shown up to teach this lesbian a lesson. <laughs> Just, I, it's amazing to me. They really like their they really like their pop culture, don't they? Injury. It's something like my insight. It's anger in others. Do you not understand why we, we you, react yeah. to a person who would do that? Do you not understand why we feel it necessary to defend ourselves when we create our space and we say, please respect this space, and it is continually disrespected. It is continually disrespected. We are told, no, you, your experience is wrong. No, your understanding of female biology is invalid. No, lesbian. That's not a cock, that's a trans clip. You should enjoy that, and if you don't, you're a bigot. This stuff is toxic to females. Can you go back to the news where you had to get answered? How you're putting your birth name as well as birth names and photos of women and your wife and your wonder woman. We, 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 we,
Wonder Girl shirt. We are in crisis in this community. I get calls from hundreds of young lesbians saying, please fucking help us because I don't want to transition when I grow up. I just want to be a fucking dyke. But all my friends are like, this is what we have to do now. Bullshit. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding Are you kidding And they're like, no. It's, okay, you can say it. Well, you guys live in New York City. No, I do not live in New York City. Yeah, I grew up in Colorado Springs and I was never here. You're in academia. Did the lesbian feminist who creates women's safe spaces just say that academics are the problem? <laughs> did I hear that right? Oh, you know, Springs, and I didn't agree any of that. that so. I just, no, because they're threatening people. They're stalking people in real life, some of them. Yes. I know you think that, like, there's, like, this innocence factor and the no factor, and it's not the case. It's anti-intellectual to say, be, wait a minute, oh, Judith Butler, Judith Butler, this is so fucking this is so fucking this is such a Oh, there you go, chat. That's a little blast from the past showing that it festered on college campuses and now has exploded after having an incubation period of about half a decade out into general society. Now I've got people demanding you wax their balls, holding story time for the tots at the library, <laughs> beating up Ben Shapiro on television. Actually, let me pull that clip up. That's a, that's a, that's a good little clip, actually. Give me one second, chat. Let, if I could find... Oh, where is that? Where is, okay, I think I got it. Good try. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Uh, this one, <laughs> I forgot Ben Shapiro got manhandled Good try. by a fucking dude. Oh, let me see if I can find the exact time code on this. Ridiculous shit. Okay, I found it, I found it. Uh, let's watch, uh, let's watch a little Ben Shapiro, all four foot two of them. Uh, get manhandled by Caitlyn Jenner. Gender, Gender identity. Go ahead. No, so. Especially, what, but even so, you have a thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you to discuss the genetics or well, no? Well, no, what no. are your genetics? Sir? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. No, I know. Well, yeah. but wait, to be fair, but to be, no, but but to be fair, wait, but to be fair, you are... I'm going to send you home in a body bag. You know, I, I like, isn't that what the lesbian was saying on a college campus six years ago? Is you people insert yourselves and then you threaten us when we tell you to fuck off? <laughs> it sounds exactly like what they were saying. It sounds exactly like what they were saying was the problem with uh, this particular group of people. In fact, where was the, oh, I know what it is. Here we go. We're not doing Here we go. Here's another more recent example of just the absurdity of this retarded shit. Let's uh, let's put this one up. We're not doing now, this is a more recent one. I'm sure you've all seen it. It's been it's been out there for a while. We got a few of these. They're fun. Let's watch. You're gonna give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. Excuse me. It's ma'am. It is ma'am. No, I don't think so, caveman. Not with a forehead and a brow that size. <laughs> you don't. Oh, do and do any of these? Uh, what? 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 There's a term for it. Trans trender? Is that it? Do any of these dudes that are like 30 years old and built like a brick house realize that they don't pass in the first place? And you know, in another 10 to 20 years, they're gonna look like a fat old man in a dress, and nobody's gonna think, "Ma'am," when they look at you. This, this motherfucker looks like they should be playing varsity football. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. Right beforehand, you fucking said sir. Sir? Motherfucker, take it outside. 
I love it. I I I I, I, I kind of hope he intentionally did that. You fucking said, sir. Sir. Okay. Don't you call me, sir. Sir, please calm down. Don't you fucking call me, sir. Mister, I'm sorry. If you call me, sir, one more time, I'm gonna bring an axe to this place. Listen, guy. <laughs> Buddy, dude. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. I apologize. Motherfucker. I apologize now. See, more violent outbursts. Lesbians saying that happens. Ben Shapiro getting grabbed by his neck. This person just destroying property because they think that's their right to do. Because they're upset they don't look like a woman and nobody buys their bullshit. I need your corporate number. Because I'm going to talk, call them and talk about how I was misgendered several times in this store. I need your corporate number now. Get it for me now. I'm going to ask you to calm down and stop cussing. Give me your corporate number. Well, I'm going to ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man. Because quite clearly I am not. And I apologize. I'm sorry for that, ma'am. I will get you that number. Is that okay? Yes, I'm get it for me now. I'm asking you to stop Get it for me now. I'm, I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. Okay. Give me the damn number now. Please. Ooh! <laughs> he actually ooks like an ape when he slips in another sir. I love it. Give me the damn number now. Please. Ooh! Ooh! Don't go mad! Ma'am, I apologize. Ooh! I apologize, ma'am. I will get you that number right now. No, you're just going to keep bumping your gums. You're just going to keep bumping your gums and disrespecting trans people in this store, which I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community. You're going to lose money over this. It's fucking GameStop. Can, can they lose money when they make zero in the first place? <laughs> Is GameStop even making money to lose? Pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure this guy's sitting pretty. I don't think he's got anything to worry about. Just remarkable. Ooh. Ooks like an ape. Gets so angry. He can't even form words. Can't even form words they got so mad. Ooga booga. <laughs> Ooga booga, I'm a woman. No, I don't think you are. Uh, from, uh, let's see. I missed a few here. Uh, T-Swizzle, did you hear? Sivo's Twitter got hacked by a poll. Oh, did it now. Oh, I'll take a look at that. Uh, best girl, Yukari. I'm so happy Zoomers hate these degenerates. Uh, from Gertie D. This is not what Betty Frieden had in mind. Dworkin maybe, but not Frieden. Silly girls. From Inui, uh, take the girl dick bigot. From Lupum, wait, this is, oh, okay, we're back to the start. Uh, this is coming to the U.S.? Oh, no, it's already here. We're watching it in the U.S. right now. <laughs> You're watching this retarded shit right now. Uh, from Miss Meadow Middens, is Fat Rufio pretending to be a woman in Neverland still? Uh, well, well, it'll always be a question on our minds. <laughs> From Thoughtful Opinions, thanks for making my studying more enjoyable. Well, enjoy it. Don't leave your dorm room. <laughs> Don't go out onto college campus. Stay the fuck away from the commons area, or you're going to be sucking dick. From Kaiser Split Dick, Romans tw or 121, because that, when they knew God, they glorified him, not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. From Maloney Dick, 117, Buffalo Bill needs his balls waxed. And evening sequence, Ginev explains that he has a vulva, dick, and balls. Oh, got the whole package, so to speak. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet of disgusting. <laughs> Amazing. So it's not just wax my balls, it's just wax this train wreck I call my genitals. You get down there and you like it. I want you to savor that flavor. <laughs> oh, it's fucking Clown World. It really is. It really, really is Clown World. It's just, it's remarkable watching it just finally come back and bite them. Oh, there was another one, too. Let me see if I can find this one. This one's, this one's interesting as well. Oh, okay, let me see. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. We don't want to fucking eat. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This one's a twofer, chat. This is a two for one. I hope you're ready. It's an Antifa tranny fighting a black man. <laughs> it's, it's really hitting all the we highlights. We don't want to fucking eat. All right. Let me, let me get this set up.
You know, this kind of turned into a tranny cast, but whatever. Let's watch. We don't want to fucking hear from you. So Get the we, fuck away from us. So we don't want to like fucking hear from you. We got nothing to fucking say to you. Get the fuck away from our Get out of his face. We don't want anything to do with you. You're a fucking spash. We don't fucking need you here. I am a beautiful girl. That's why I look like an autistic 20-year-old man with a ponytail. You will address me as she. That is my proper pronoun. <laughs> Just, you're fucking with the wrong one, Antifa. Oh, I love it when they do this. I love when they try to fuck with black people, because black people don't put up with it. Get the fuck away from our march! We got no fucking use for you! Make me. Get the fuck away! You don't want me to make you! Trust me! <clears throat> oh, make me? Make me. Make me. Dude, fucking make me. I fucking goddamn dare you to make me. Come on, what are you gonna do? What are you fucking gonna do? Are you all talk so much to the you ain't done shit yet. Do something. Turn that fucking camera off. That camera. No. He's you see the fat little Antifa member with his flag trying to block the view? Just circling around like an obese shark. Too lazy to go after a half-dead seal. I'm gonna block your view. I don't want you to watch Zur swing at Zim. It's funny the only reason you fucking, the only reason you're talking no. all that shit is because that camera's over there. No. That camera wasn't there, I'd be knocking your ass the fuck out. Yeah. Don't worry about the camera, it seems like you can't see shit right We don't need you here, motherfuckers. We don't fucking need you here. We don't have any fucking use for you. Get okay. the fuck away from our march. Okay, so Shut the fuck up. Nobody it. wants to hear a fucking word you have to say. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. No. Nobody fucking wants you here. Nobody. You know, I, I should take this and put, what what is it? When keeping it real goes wrong, inches away. The Antifa tranny is inches away from the black dude's face. And you just know, you just know it's going to end badly. Nobody fucking wants you here. I don't fucking, I don't give a fuck what you care about. Good. I don't care about you. Shut the fuck up. 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 Fuck you. Fuck off. You see this shit? They always do this. They always try to block the view. If you're going to go and counter Antifa in the streets, buy a drone. They can't block it. You have perfect 360 view. There's nothing they can do about it. You can have the fucking thing hover 50 feet up. They're too soy to actually throw anything that high. And then they can never block anything. You can hit him with a flag too? Let him go. Let him get by. Oh, here we go. Shit's about to go down. Training through a punch. Let's see it again. Because somebody that knows they have made a big mistake. <laughs> you know that there's a, a image macro that goes wrong. It's called uh, the, the face white people make when they walk uh, when they see you walking down the street. It's that uh oh look that they get. That is the exact look they've got. That is the exact fucking look they've got. This is the oh shit. I am in some real fucking trouble now. Look. Knock it off! Oh, listen to them. Knock that off. You stop it. <laughs> Took him right down to the ground. Knock that off. How dare you assault Zim. <laughs> they didn't do anything except punch you in the face. You need to take it, fascist. Oh, that black dude body tackles this fucking fruitcake and just takes him to the ground. Knock it off! Look at this! Look at this motherfucker! Come on, bro! Just let the tranny hit you! <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta take it, man! Alright, this is modern America. Trannies get to punch you now. That's how things work here. <laughs> oh... Oh, it's fucking Clown World. It's just going to get crazier. It's not going to stop.
that's never going to stop. <laughs> There's going to be state-mandated dilation stations in your local elementary schools if you give them enough time. You, you let them lay the groundwork and you're going to see all sorts of crazy fucked up shit. <laughs> it's just been festering for half a decade. And it's finally just oozed out into mainstream. Abuse the system. They know they can make up dumb shit and get away with it. And if not, get like a urologist scope to go up their urethra. Like I don't even. I don't like. <laughs> I can't. The mechanics of it, I guess, confuse me. Bet they're going to make you do it anyway. Oh, what about breast exams? Uh, do those too. Oh, I'm worried I've got uterine cancer. Can you can you stick your eye up my ass and give it a good look? Uh, hey, doctor, I think something's wrong with my pussy. Could you hold my pussy? Oh, sir, that's a penis. Now, I need you to hold my pussy, doctor, and just rub it up and down. You better do it, bigot. I don't, you better do it. I'm taking you to the Human Rights Commission. Also, Doctor, do you have any kids? I want to take them to the pool later on. You're not invited. Welcome to the modern age. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous shit. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm excited to see what crazy shit's going to come up next. Now, what did somebody say earlier? Something about Steve-O. Let's go take a look and see what's going on with Steve-O. What did, uh, what did our boy Steve-O get up to? Let me see here. Actually, I think I might... Oh, what do you know? I think I actually have seen this earlier. Let me grab that. All right, let's go take a look. Did he, did he misgender somebody? Oh, no! I see what he did. Okay. Uh-oh. Steve-O, uh-oh. Uh, hey, at CNN. <laughs> he put a punctuation mark. He wants people to see it. How long has this been up? This is <laughs> this has been up for like a day. Now let's see what the image says, chat. Let's see what Steve-O is tweeting at CNN. Maybe it's interesting. Who knows? Uh, let's let's uh, let's take a read. Oh, it's a big image. Got to zoom in a little bit. Oh, I see a lot of CNN employees. I believe that's a star, David. Hmm, might be. Hinting at the fact that they're all amazing. Jewish. I'm not 100% certain. I, I can't test the validity of this image. I wonder what uh, Steve was trying to tell them. Lots of Jewish amazing. people. Lots of presidents and executives and VPs and CEOs and CFOs. Got to get so big he ran out of room. Oh, what's this at the very bottom? Let's read this. If amazing. Jews represent just 2% of the U.S. population, would it be odd for a media organization whose parent company has a amazing. Jewish president? A Amazing. Jewish majority of C-level executives to also have a Amazing. Jewish president, Jewish Amazing. vice president, Amazing. Jewish majority of executive vice presidents, lead political anchor, chief political correspondent, chief political analyst, chief political dick, or director, chief national correspondent, chief Washington correspondent, all six of its chief anchor positions who are all Amazing. Jewish, as well as having a majority, at least 13 of the network's currently running shows having Amazing. Jewish hosts. It's almost as if, but it cuts off there. I don't know. I don't know what the rest of the uh, message was. I'm not sure what Steve-O I'm not sure what Steve-O was trying to say. Uh, did CNN respond? Did they? Did they respond to? The, lots of retweets and likes. Oh, interesting. Oh, what? What is this? Uh, this one's been passed around for a while. Uh, oh, oh, this even. Yeah, this looks like an even bigger version. Even bigger. It's so big, they don't, you can't even read it. There's so much shit on here. It's CNN and NBC and New York Times. It's, it's, a, it's a whole lot of people. <laughs> See, cause this one goes even bigger. Oh, you got CNN, New York Times, uh, Fox, NBC, CBS, and NPR. Well, that's, uh, that's a hell of a... Lots of text. Uh, can I read this one at the very bottom? About 20% of the U.S. taxpayers funded NPR's personal... Uh, personnel are of Jewish descent. It's merely 2% of the United States population. Why are dual Americans and Israeli Amazing. Jewish citizens allowed to represent about one-fifth of the U.S. taxpayer 
subsidized public radio station. I'm not sure what these gentlemen, they're asking questions. I don't have the answers to. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what Sivo is going for there. I'm just, uh, I'm just a dude. Don't know what to tell you, you know? We're just sitting here talking about Tranny. Sivo's throwing out some amazing some facts at us. <laughs> that's been sitting up there for like a day. Lots of people joining in, talking about all the other media organizations. It's weird. I don't know, chat, can you tell me? What do you think Steve-O's message is? Chat, any any idea of what Steve is trying to impart to the people? I, I know chat looks very confused too. I think we're all very confused <laughs> as to what uh, Steve is talking about. I see a lot of clasping hands emojis and uh i believe those are spinning shekels not sure not sure ah, i need some blues clues music to really puzzle this out as we think about it let's uh i think the music will help us i'll be honest with you i'll put some blues clues music on let's see if we can figure this out <laughs> need you know a nice a nice soundtrack behind it uh oh, did my favorite Blues Clues remix go away? Oh no, here it is. J Squad. We gotta find All right, let's see if we can figure this mystery out, chat. So Stevo, Stevo's tweeting out pictures about all these Amazing. Jews that work at CNN. That's, that's the first clue. Huh. Now, now what do we do? Let's think about this. That's, that's the first so clue. CNN's CNN is controlled by a majority of Amazing. Jews. And then other people are tweeting out pictures of NBC and CBS and Fox and NPR and ABC. And they're all headed up by Amazing. Jews. But Amazing. Jews only represent 2% of the population. So how would this many Amazing. Jews get in control of mainstream media? I don't know. I got to put on my thinking cap. You know, maybe it's just, maybe it's not a mystery I'm meant to solve. I don't know. Maybe Steve-O's, there's more to the equation. We'll have to wait for him to tweet out more. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what he's trying to say. It looks like he's just stating facts. I mean, he's put up the people and said, hey, hey, they're amazing. Chilling. But didn't really, didn't really say anything definitive after that. I just, uh, I don't know, I'm just so confused. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully CNN comments and can enlighten us as to what Steve-O perhaps meant by tweeting that picture out. I'm not, I'm not certain. Not certain, chat. <laughs> God bless our Chinese lemon emperor. <laughs> letting, us, letting us stream over here. Oh. Just have to, just have to hope, hope we get the uh, full explanation. I, I, that, uh, I'm sorry, that threw me off a little bit. Mysteries like this always throw me off just a tiny bit. Had, I had some momentum going. We're giggling, giggling about uh, the things going on. What else did I have to talk about? Oh, <laughs> I know what. I know what else we're going to talk about. Let's uh, pull this up. So uh, Donald Trump recently got in trouble for talking about Representative uh, Cummings District saying that Baltimore was basically a rat-infested shithole. And uh, people started telling him he was racist. Oh my God, how could you say that about Baltimore? Baltimore's lovely. Oh, I have vacation in Baltimore. I, I think Baltimore is just the best place. It's the bestest place ever. <laughs> how could you say that it was bad? And then it comes out that just maybe three years prior, three or four years prior, I think it was 2015, if I'm being honest with you, uh, Bernie Sanders had a a hot take about that exact same area, that exact same district that Trump was saying was a rat-infested shithole. Well, I don't want to misquote our boy Bernie. What did he say exactly? Uh, you would think that you were in the third world country. We're talking about a community in which there are hundreds of buildings that are uninhabitable. That's strange. Why would Bernie be agreeing with such a racist? <laughs> or even better yet, why would the Baltimore Sun 
attacked President Trump saying that his comments about it being a rat-infested shithole are untrue, when just last year they were writing articles about the rat film documentary about how horrible Baltimore's rodent fight is that was that was aired on public broadcasting services on PBS. There's such an infestation in Baltimore that they had to do a fucking documentary about how to deal with it. And the Baltimore Sun, the, the uh, paper that was attacking Trump, calling him a, a bigot for saying that, wrote an article about it well before Trump ever talked about it. It's very strange. <laughs> it's very confusing. Uh, even more confusing is, uh, I, you know, I took the time after reading about all this Baltimore stuff to go look up a few things. Uh, there's a YouTuber by the name of Charlie Bo 313 who his whole channel is him driving through the world's shittiest neighborhoods. He'll go to fucking Compton and Detroit and Gary, Indiana, wherever. It doesn't really even matter. If it's a bad neighborhood, he'll drive through it to show you what it's like on the street. So I went to his channel and I was like, well, I wonder if he's got any footage of Baltimore. I wonder, you know, people are saying Baltimore's a, a hellhole. Uh, how bad is it? Would this guy have actually gone there? Turns out he went there like fucking 20 times. It was so bad he went there multiple times. And I've got a little I've got a little clip to show you. Maybe we'll even go look at some footage just on his channel itself. <laughs> Cuz every video it's nothing but dilapidated buildings falling down, police in the street arresting hookers and drug users, or my personal favorite, I've never really even seen this before, cementing in buildings where they'll they'll seal up the door with actual cement and then board up all the windows. And that's like every fucking street this guy drove down. That's what it looked like. Let's let's uh, let's take a look. Here's just a, a 30 second clip of him driving through Baltimore, which again, people said Trump was wrong. Baltimore's beautiful. Let's look at the beauty of Baltimore. Well, now that's that's my picture. That that is what I call the picture of serenity. Look at that beautiful cardboard door and window. Oh, cemented indoor, very beautiful, more cardboard. I believe this is uh, a vintage look. It's kind of retro. They uh, light the building on fire to give it a nice kind of charcoal black. It's very beautiful. Pops against the bricks. Pops against that brown. Really eye-catching. Uh, they've gone with the we don't actually need windows look. You know, just burn it, burn it a little bit and then take all the windows out. But make sure, make sure you get those particle doors in. Particle board everywhere. some more beautiful you know just match the outside color of the building with more cemented in doorways and windows we don't we don't you know fuck air fuck air and sunlight this is how baltimore likes to live you know if they don't people in baltimore have this funny habit they don't believe in gaining entry to a building at the ground floor they like to get exercise that's how they stay fit up there so they all climb the fire escape to the roof that's why they burn the roofs down so they can get into the building because they cemented shut the fucking doorways. That's how they, it's good cardiovascular workout. This entire street, by the way, every single building, cardboard and cement. So this is the, this is the amazing neighborhood <laughs> that we're all supposed to think is just the bestest. Just, oh, here's another uh, image of Baltimore. Beautiful, really. Uh, you've got the uh, lovely blue and red of the police lights ricocheting off the falling down buildings. Uh, they just removed it. Hey, you know what makes this lot look even better? Let's just take half the building. Well, you know, half of this building and like one and three-fourths of this building. Just rip it down. Rip that right down. And then we'll put the police cars out there and just illuminate the daylight. You know, I was also commenting that if you took pictures of Baltimore and put it in a black and white filter... You could probably actually upload that shit onto World War II wikis and say it was footage after a battle like the, or like the firebombing of Dresden. They'll never know. That's the state that Baltimore's in. Baltimore is falling down so badly 
if you looked at this picture, if I put that on a wiki and you didn't know it, you might actually think that's from some European town that was in the middle of a heated battle between the Axis and the Allies. You'd have no way knowing. More uh, serene shots of beautiful cardboard. Really, really accentuates accentuates the outsides of those buildings. Oh, even more. I like this. They wanted to be a little more fancy about it, so they just used planks of wood. Like, they wanted to up their game a little bit. Like, these guys, cement and particle board. This motherfucker right here, fancy town. I'm going to rip up the floor of a burnt-down building. I'm going to seal up another building so nobody can get in and out. Except this one window. Because I want to I want to let the person trapped in here see what's going on in the outside world. Lovely. I, I think I might move down there myself, really. I think it's time to move to Baltimore. You know, my first couple of picks, really. Here's, here's where I was thinking the best places in the United States to live. Number one, Detroit, Michigan. Who doesn't want to live in Detroit? Really low property values. I mean, sure, you're going to need a few buckets of water on Halloween, but outside of that, I'd say it's, you know, value for the dollar, really. Uh, Dearborn, Michigan. I hear Dearborn, Michigan's a fucking charming little town. Everybody loves it up in Dearborn. Oh, Gary, Indiana. Another great, another great community to live in. And now apparently Baltimore. I got four picks. Really, it's hard to decide which one I want to live in most. <laughs> it's really difficult to to final down that decision, to narrow it down, to make sure that I get just the best neighborhood and the best community to be a part of. But these beautiful pictures of Baltimore kind of swaying me to them, kind of making me think, that's where I want to go. Ah, this world. This world and people in it. Fucking crazy time. Uh, what do we got here? From Lupum. Uh, chat was saying, Gunt Worski done goofed, but I really don't know. I uh, done goofed about what? Uh, you got you to gotta give me a little bit more than that. Oh, my dog apparently is trying to attack the ninjas that are assailing the place right now. Yes, it's okay, Ava. Calm down. Yes, you scared them off. Very, very brave of you. I'm sure they're quaking in fear right now. Ava, can you fucking shut the fuck up? Uh, and then from the Yufio answer. Oh my god. And then from the Yufio answer, Steve-O's tweet does not represent the views of Tommy Robinson's news network. Uh, my dogs are going insane right now for some reason. <laughs> are you doing a stream? Fuck you. We're going to bark our little heads off. Fuck your shit. I don't even care. I'm, I'm not even upset right now. I'm just going to bark. Fuck your audio levels. Just rrr, rrr, rrr. Lovely. Beautiful. Well, you know what? I think that's. Uh, I think we'll close out with that. It's like you go see what they're freaking out over. Because apparently it's something interesting. Is it a squirrel? Are you going to hunt me a squirrel? Oh, is squirrel time? All right. Maybe it's squirrel time. Uh, have a good day, chat. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Remember, be on the guard. Be on the guard if you're on a college campus. Don't look at anybody and don't say anything. It's the only way to protect yourself. And really start to think about investing in some beautiful property down in Baltimore. Just lovely. It's the kind of neighborhood I think we all could see ourselves growing old in. <laughs> and by old, I mean 35 before you're dead of a gunshot. Uh, let's, uh, what are we going to close this out on? You know, I'll just go with that. I'll just go with a, a, a goodie. Here we go. Amazing, 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 amazing.